Hello all, welcome to 49th Java Programming Tutorial on NetStrikers.com. My name is Aditya and in this tutorial we are going to create a socket program setting one-sided application which is used to send message from client to the server until the exit command has been entered. So let us open the file. So I am going to type gedit followed by my example name which is client.java. So as you can see, I have created a class called client.java and i have imported two packages the first package is the io package which is the input output package while the other is the java.net package or for the java network package so i have created a main method and within the main method i have created try catch block to handle two exceptions the first exception is the unknown host exception and the second one is the io exception so I, as i discussed earlier that what is the task of this two exception so uh, we are not going to learn again and again this topic instead of that we are going to create a socket object name it as 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 we discussed earlier that the socket constructor for the client takes two parameter the first parameter is the ip address through which it want to connect it, it is in the string format while the other is the port number with which it want to connect so i have printed out that connection connect connected successfully now i have also created a buffered reader object name it as br followed by its constructor input stream reader which will take all the parameter value and will help us to pass to the server so how do we pass to the server now here comes the role of print stream now i have created a print stream object name it as ps now this will get all the output stream data now i have again created the buffered reader object which is brs and this will get all the input stream from the server so while the connection will open it will going to create a string type object which is string and it will print the particular message from the print stream method object so it will check if the string will equal to exit if that become equal then this will exit that application so hence the data will return to the back to from the server so let us open the server dot java in order to learn how the server program work so let me just close it i need to type gedit followed by server dot java now as you can see the server dot java is quite similar with the client similarly it contain two packages which is io and net package within the main method i have created try catch block but inside the cache block I handled only one exception which is IO exception now in as we discussed in our earlier tutorial the server class will contain the server socket so I named my server socket object is SS as its constructor take only one parameter that is 1 2 3 4 5 as we created in our client program now this will wait for the connection request now to connect accept that request from the client i have created a socket type object name it as s and within the server socket method accept which will accept all the packets all the data connection request from the client program now as soon as the request will collect it then uh, the buffered reader came to an existence this will get all the input stream data while the data will continue to be connected it will check whether the string will equal to exit or not if that string is exit then the connection will be lost as the system dot exit method will go into execute and hence we got to see the message from the client so let us run our code and check how this work successfully or not so let me just close it and i need to open two terminals for that one for the server and one for the client so I just need to compile both classes so I just type java c followed by client in one terminal as you can see compilation is successful now let's run let's compile our another server.java file as you can see our compilation for the server also successful now let us run our code for the server so in order to run that let's type java followed by server so as you can see server is waiting for the request now let us open the another terminal to send a request from the client so let me just uh, adjust this span limit okay 
think I'm not able to do so. So let us send the request from the client and to do so let us type java followed by client now as you can see here request accepted the client send it the request to the server followed by its message now it asks the user to input the data so we can input any kind of data that we want so i am going to just type uh, hello now as soon as i print press enter the hello message get printed on the server panel so similarly we can send the data again and again until the user press the exit command so i am just going to send few or few more messages few more message as you can see the data is transmitting one by one but this time i am going to type sorry this time i am going to type exit so when i press enter connection will get lost so that's how one sided chat application work i hope you liked it if you have any suggestions or doubt or if you have any queries related to source code please do let me ask in the youtube comment section thanks for watching bye bye